Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Same Bet. You know, one of the questions that I get the most is why don't I play the pass line with odds? And today, we're going to turn things around. We're going to do the three-point molly, low roller style. Alright, so here we go. We're going to be playing the three-point molly, which is basically a pass line uh, with odds and then two come bets with odds. And uh, uh, so I, I'm at the advantage. I know the outcome of how we're going to go here. And things are not going to go the way we think they're going to go. All right, here we go. Let's start with the dice are out. Right off the bat, we've got a seven on the come out roll. So we're going to win five bucks on, the, uh, on that pass line that we put out there. And, uh, and then we'll shoot them again. Yeah, so, so I, I have this conversation occasionally uh, with uh, some of the viewers. And we talk about why uh, do people on YouTube tend to favor the, the place bets over the, the pass line. And I've got a couple of theories on that. And we'll go through a couple of them here as we, uh, as we shoot the dice. And there we go. Boxcars. Okay. Um, just like in all my other videos, we're going to be marking the all tall small. I'm not really playing it, but I am marking it for you at home in case you're playing along just so, uh, uh, so you can keep up with it. All right, so we've, we've marked the, uh, the 12 and the all tall small, and we're just going to shoot them again. Now, I've introduced another camera. Uh, so the, the picture you're looking at right here, you see how I'm gripping it and how I'm tossing it. That's something a little bit different that I haven't done before. Dice are out. And it's a hard six. Okay, uh, so like I was about to say, I know what's about to happen here. And I want you to pay attention to something. Um, let me grab some dice here. So as I'm gripping the dice, um, I don't know if it's going to show up very well. I want you to pay attention to my pointer finger, okay? Uh, I have a bad tendency to have my pointer finger just a little bit higher up than the others. And I'm going to catch that later on in the video, but let's, uh, let's see how we're doing so far. So we've uh, set a point of six. I've got double odds. I put another $5 on a come bet, and let's see where we go from here. Dice are out. And it's a four, two, six, back to back six is great. We're gonna win some money. All right, so uh, let's bring the dice back and talk through it for a minute. We've already marked the six on the all tall small. We're gonna pull the, um, the puck off, okay? And we're gonna pay that pass line with the odds. All right, so we get $5 for the pass line. The odds are six to five, so we're gonna make uh, $12 for that $10 bet. And we're just gonna rack it up. All right, so things are going pretty good. And now we've got another um, uh, come out situation. I went ahead and placed the odds. Now, here's where is something is kind of strange. In a come out roll, uh, your odds are not working unless you tell them uh, uh, to turn them on. But your flat bet is working. So if you seven out here, you're going to lose the flat bet. You'll just pull the odds back down. And that's exactly what happens here. We got a seven. Hey, real quick, while we're resetting all the bets, Take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring the bell and get notified of any new videos that I'm putting out. Thanks. And all right, let's reset the all tall small. And pull that down. So these odds go back into my, my rack since they weren't working. I lose the $5, but I made $5 on that pass line bet since it was a come out roll. And so that's, that's actually a huge advantage uh, that when you seven out, you still had something working that you're going to get some of that money back. Here we go. Here we go again. Dice are out. And I'm using the 5454 five, set right now, but I will change that periodically as we go along. Another seven. Uh, so another come out seven. This time, all I have is the pass line. So I'll make the $5 for that and just rack it up. Okay. Now, again, here we go. We're going to set the dice. Pay attention to that pointer finger and see if you can see if it's slightly above the others. Look at that. It's just slightly above. And that does have a, an impact on the toss itself. All right. Hey, five, four, nine. We're going to set a point. So as we go through this video, I don't exactly remember where I, I consciously started thinking about that. But, but uh, you're going to see a change in my play here in a few minutes. All right. So we mark the nine. Now we're going to put double odds and a $5 come bet. There we go. Again, just slightly off. Dice are out. 
and it's a 437. Okay. All right, so here we're going to lose uh, the pass line and the odds that I put down there, but we're going to get paid uh, for that five, $5 come bet. So let's take that all back, put, pay the $5 for the come bet, and start the process all over again. And I'm thinking about it right here. Okay, so I've changed sets now. I was at 5454, five, now I'm 5453. Five, five, Had a lot of sevens coming out in a row, and I'm starting to think, okay, I need to make some sort of adjustment here. So instead of adjusting, okay, hard 10. So instead of adjusting my grip, I adjusted the set. And let's see if we have any uh, better luck with that. All right, so that was a come out roll. We're gonna mark the 10 on the all tall small. We're going to pay double odds and $5 in the come bet. So we're really still, we still haven't established three points. Uh, we're still trying to work through that. You know, you know when we're talking about the, uh, you know, three point molly or, or pass line with odds or come bet with odds, that's another seven, a four, three, seven. So even though I changed my set, it doesn't work. It, it's still, still not working. Yeah, so as we talk about changing um, uh, the, the pass line with odds versus place bets, if I had had all those place bets out there and working like I, I, I do, I work a lot on the come out rolls, I would have been losing $22, $44, quite a bit. I'd be much further down than I am right now. In fact, I'm not even sure I'm down right now. I kept winning on those uh, uh, come out sevens. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm actually up. All right, five, four, five, three is the set. Dice are out. Another seven, another four, three, seven. And I know that I am starting to get uh, irritated with myself. So I'm trying to calm myself down a little bit, trying not to tilt, trying not to break what I'm trying to do, um, not trying not to chase a loss is what I'm trying to say. So think about it, what's going on, why isn't it working, uh, and just calm, uh, just try to remain calm. So here I am changing the set again, three, two, three, six, the three V. So we're gonna see if that works any better. Dice are out. That looked like a good throw, except it's a 527. Again, another seven on the come out. Again, not the end of the world, because uh, I am going to make another $5. Uh, but anybody betting on that all tall small the last uh, couple of minutes, I'm sorry about that. I probably destroyed your bankroll just with that alone. Um, so we're going to try it again. Three, two, three, six. Let me know, uh, do you like this set? Uh, you know, I'm not a great dice setter or anything like that, uh, but I think it's kind of an interesting point of view. I hope you like it. And again, a five, two, seven. Something is really going wrong here. And it's not just that the, my index finger is a little bit off. There's gotta be more to it than that, I think. Uh, but I am, as I'm throwing these dice, it's going through my head. What do I need to be doing wrong? Is it my breathing? Is it my stance? Is it the swing? Am I putting too much you know, power into it? Not enough power into it? Something is going wrong. All right, so I'm changing that dice set again. Uh, I'm going with a 2V this time. And I'm trying to decide exactly what variation or, or that I want to do there. And I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I don't know exactly what it was. There we go, though. Hard 10. All right, we're on the board again. All right, we have set a point, so let's mark it on the all tall small, move the puck over, and now let's see what I do right here. Normally you would lay double odds or, or, or odds, but I've been burned so much on it, I'm not gonna lay the odds right now. I just put the $5 on the come bet, so if I lose now it, it, with a seven, it's gonna be a wash. All right, let's see what happens. And I'm, I missed the dice set there. I'm not exactly sure what we've got. And it's a two, one, three. All right, that didn't hurt us. It didn't really, well, I guess we lost the combat. So we're gonna lose $5 on that roll. But we are gonna mark it on the all tall small. Bring it down and put another $5 out there. Still no odds. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm kind of gun shy at this moment, trying to figure out what, do I, what adjustments do I need to make but, uh, so I can start making a little bit of money. And I go back. Uh, none of the dice sets are working for me, so I go back to the 5454, five, four, and this is where I start to think about that finger. There we go, that looked like a good shot. Crap number. Uh, that's a one, two, three. Um, so 
Again, we're going to lose another $5 in that come bet. But I think I'm starting to think about this right. Instead of constantly changing that die set, uh, chasing how I did on my last roll, think about the mechanics. Think about the basics and what it is that I'm trying to do. All right, so kind of don't grip them too hard. I'm thinking that in my head. There we go. Dice are out. And it's a 516. Okay, not a bad shot. The one die went off axis. That's okay. Uh, you know, don't be afraid of one die going off axis. Mark the six on the all tall small. And again, okay, so now I've got a 10 and I've got a six. So I'm going to go for that third point. And at this point, I am going to start laying the odds. And again, this is low roller style. So I'm just doing double odds. And uh, let's see if we're going to make any money. Okay. There we go. Dice are out. And it's a three, two, five. All right, I think this is probably the longest roll I've had. <laughs> so we're gonna set that third point now. So the come bet's gonna travel up to the five. We're gonna mark the five on the all tall small. And we're gonna grab $10 out of our rack to put double odds. So now I've got the five covered, the six covered, and the 10 covered. We just need to hit one of those and uh, uh, we'll start making a little bit of money. Okay. Finger placement looks a little bit better now. It's hard to see it, but uh, uh, I know in the beginning that my finger was off a little. Dice are out. And it's a hard four. Okay. So we don't have any money on the four. We don't have any money in the combat. We've got our three points established. We just need to keep uh, throwing until we hit one of those numbers. And kind of going back to what I was saying earlier. So we've had these discussions. Um, uh, fives. He's one of the guys that, that, that we have a lot of discussions about this. And uh, you know, why don't YouTube people do more of the uh, pass line and odds? Well, I think it's because there's not enough action. You know, when you have uh, you know 32 across or even 22 inside or, or whatever variation it, it you're trying to do, you're winning uh, some amount of money most of the time. Doesn't necessarily mean you're more profitable, but you're you have more action. The videos are more entertaining. So that's why I think that we try to tend to stay away from those pass line and odds uh, videos a little bit more. Not everybody does, of course. Uh, uh, for those who have been around YouTube for quite a while, the Road Gambler, and he was famous for these uh, uh, pass line uh, with odds, and he would do some serious odds. Um, he'd be looking for those uh, uh, casinos that do 100 times odds, and he'd play it. Uh, and he'd actually record it. So if you have a chance, if you're ever interested, really interested in seeing the effects of the three-point molly or, or pass line with odds, come bet with odds, check out Road Gambler videos. They're a little older, but they are they are intense. I mean, that, that dude had some uh, major uh, bankroll and, uh, and seemed to work out pretty well for him. I don't. And so I'm going here with 200, 300. I, and oh, gosh, man, I wish I could remember uh, what I started here with. I think I started with $500. Uh, five, three, eight. Okay, we seem to be going on a pretty good roll now. I've, uh, I've kind of uh, made the adjustments to my grip or my stance or my breathing, and uh, it's starting to pay off. It was a very rocky start, but now we're starting to see things go. So I've got, I've got the five, the six, and the eight. Those are some good numbers. Those are common, frequently uh, thrown ro uh, rolls. So uh, let's see if I can hit some more of them. There you go. You saw me readjust my index finger there. Dice are out. And it's a three, one, four. No money on that four again. Now, this is three-point molly the way it's actually designed. I have seen a lot of people who will actually put place bets out there and a come bet. And as they win that place bet, they use that for the odds. I might experiment around with that a little bit, but this I wanted to show just a straight three-point molly. Four, two, six. Okay, I've really lost track of how many rolls I've gone uh, uh, on this one, but uh, doing much better now than I was earlier. And we, that was a winner. Okay, so we're gonna be, get paid $5 for the uh, front, or for the, the flat bet, and $12 for the odds. Rack it all up. Leave $5 out there in the come box, because we want to establish another point. Okay, sticking with the 5454 four set. Adjust that finger. 
Hold your breath. Let it go. That's five four nine. That's okay. So the come bet now is going to travel up to the nine, and we're going to have to take another ten dollars out of our rack uh, to put it up in the odds. All right, we're actually doing pretty good. I'll tell small. You know, it looks like we just need the two for the small, the eleven, the twelve for the all. And we are fully loaded again. Again, this is low roller style. Uh, we're only using double odds. You could even go lower. You could do single odds if you wanted to. Uh, but most casinos, they're going to offer even a little bit better. Uh, three, four, five odds, uh, 10 times odds, uh, six to eight. Uh, or even up to 100 times odds. Uh, Harris in Kansas City. Uh, I believe they've, they've recently mo moved up to 100 times odds. All right, so that was a frontline winner. Get paid for that uh, pass line. And $12 for the odds. Again, we're going to rack it up. Now we're in another come out roll situation. It's exactly like what I said earlier. The flat bets uh, on the come bets are going to be working, but the odds are not unless you uh, had the dealer turn them on. But let's see what happens with this come out roll. Dice are out. Five, four, nine. Okay, so this is where it kind of worked against you. Sometimes it helps you, sometimes it hurts you. So I have the the pass line, or I'm sorry, I have the come bet and the odds. Well, the odds don't pay since they weren't working. They're just going to go back to my rack. But that flat bet of the $5 was working, so we're going to get paid for that one. We only have two points established. We've got the 9 and the 5, uh, so we need to put another $5 out in the come bet. Always want to try to have three points working. Dice are out. And it's five, four, nine. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna maybe be another frontline winner. All right, let's pull those dice back. The come bet's gonna travel up to the nine, and we are gonna get paid in the pass line five dollars for the uh, flat bet, and it pays three to two uh, on the odds. So we're gonna collect fifteen dollars. Take ten of it. Go ahead and put it up on the nine. Leave five dollars in the pass line, and we're in a come out roll situation again. All right, here we go. Okay, four one five. Dice took a strange bounce. Let's talk about that for just a second. So, um, my table is a couple of years old, and it has lost the tightness in the in, in the underlayment and the, the, uh, the layout. Uh, so I recorded this particular video a couple of days ago. Over this past weekend, I took the opportunity to move my table over a little bit. I wanted to get, make some room in the back side of my table. And I also took the layout off, replaced the flannel uh, that I had underneath it, and tightened it down. I had my wife and my daughter helping me out with it, and uh, uh, I'm anxious to get to playing on the new table uh, or the, the revised table and see how well we do. All right, it looks like um, that was a come out roll, so we had to mark the five, played our odds, uh, paid our odds, and uh, put another five dollars out in the come box. Dice are out. Hard 10. Okay, so no money on that hard 10, or no money on the 10, but the come bet will travel. And again, we're going to take $10 out of our rack for double odds. Now I've got the 5, the 9, and the 10 working for us. Still working towards that all tall small. Don't have it yet. Uh, let's see what happens. Dice are out. 5, 1, 6. All right, we're doing pretty good here. So, um, you know, earlier in the video, I was changing my dice set trying to um, avoid the seven by changing dice. I don't have the knowledge that some of my friends have. Uh, George from CY, he's a master at this. Uh, he can tell by the, the patterns of the dice and what's happening on some of the adjustments that he can make to the sets on the fly. He is uh, brilliant uh, in that matter. Uh, 314. I don't have that, so I rely on my mechanics and, uh, and repeatability. Uh, so I'm making changes to how I'm throwing it, and in this case, it's working. We're doing, we've got a pretty good long roll going here. Okay, 
Here we go. Dice are out. Uh, ten. That's a six four ten. Uh, every time, every time I see that, I remember Jacob from Wager Me This and uh, uh, you know laying the ten. That it just bites me every time. I know he makes a lot of money with it, but <laughs> that, I guess that's one of my signature numbers that uh, I shouldn't be. Uh, I should not be laying the 10. All right, so we just paid ourselves for uh, uh, the uh, come bet with the odds. Put another $5 out in the come box, and we're still rolling. Yeah, it's very pronounced now. You can see that I, uh, that I do move that index finger down just every time now. And that's a seven. Okay, we finally got to seven, uh, but, but it was a good run. Um, yeah, so let's see what we're going to do here. I think we, we actually pull everything down. Oh, the come bet's going to win. We're going to win $5 for that come bet. Boom. All right. So, yep, we're going to go ahead and color it up here and see how well we did. All right, so here we can see uh, a couple of metrics uh, around our shooting. And this is something that I want to try to uh, incorporate in my videos going forward. My friend George from CY put this together for us out of a spreadsheet. Uh, so shout out to George. Thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. Um, upper left-hand corner, we have what we call the SRR, the sevens to rolls ratio. Now that's a number that you want to see above six. Even a random shooter, a chicken feeder, somebody who takes those dice and just throws them down to the end, they should get around a six. I got a 3.8. We're going to find out if we made any money on it here in just a second, uh, but I want to call out a couple of things. Uh, the red bar, sevens. I only rolled four sevens that counted. Uh, the far left hand or far right hand side, five come out sevens. This was not a good roll for me. All right, so there you have it, $111. Even off such a bad SRR, we still made some money. Now, this was a hard way to make that money, and I don't recommend it uh, going forward, but it can be done. Special shout out to George from CY for helping us with these uh, spreadsheets, and I also want to give a shout out to 555 uh, for some of the conversations we've had on past lines with odds. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick around. We'll see you next time.